hello guys welcome back so now let's just quickly implement and design the login screen so you will go to the login screen dot dot file and here we do not need an app bar here on our login screen what we need is first of all we have to set the background color of our login screen since we will uh, go with the black theme the black ui for our entire app so you can go with the black color colors dot black so the login screen background color is black which you can see here and let's start designing the body of our login screen so we can use layout builder builder context comma constraint cons return constraint constraints box widget constraints box constraints the minimum height will be cons dot maximum height then after the constraints you will add a scroll view single child scroll view since you know that let's say if phone screen size is small then the user has to scroll for the let's say for the text field or email password don't have an account button okay login here and so on that's why we are using scroll view and this constraint box is basically the design okay which you will see now okay once we complete this so anyways let's just quickly implement this and you can see the design result here at runtime now first of all we will add header for our login screen so you can simply write here a comment login screen header so in the header basically we will add an image the width for this container in which we will uh, display our image the header image of the login screen let's set the width for this container so it will be whatever the screen size width is we will tag that so that it can adjust its width according to the screen size okay whatever the screen width is it will just tag that and the height will be 285 and let's add our image so we can say image dot asset and from the asset I will provide this image which is by the name login okay just download this image and then copy this image and come back here to your project and now uh, we will create a new folder in our cloth sap so right click on cloth sap new directory and let's give this folder name as images and press enter so you can see that images folder has been created now right click on images folder click paste and click OK so the image which you just downloaded we have passed that inside the images folder which is by the name login.jpg okay this image so now once you paste the image inside the images folder you have to go to the postpack.ml file in order to include this images folder in our project only then we will be able to use the images which will be inside this images folder so for that purpose uh, here what we need to do is just scroll here and below this user's material design you will see this assets just remove this comment from, from it okay assets remember this M must be below this hash or you can say below this U in proper indentation or you can say proper alignment do not give any space forward or backward okay otherwise you will get errors and similarly here also we will remove the comment from it and now inside the first of all make sure that this dash this dash must be below the asset second s okay below this second s this dash must be below properly like this okay and whatever is after the slash sign just remove that so what it means we have included the images folder in our project the slash mean that whatever is inside this images folder that is now the part of our this flutter cloth sap project which we are developing using getx okay 
so once you do this you have to click on this pub get exit code 0 which simply means that it has been added successfully in our project and now we can use the images if you see this as uh, suggestion okay then click on get dependencies and then click on ignore and now let's just add here our image that is inside the images folder we have the image login dot jpg okay and you can see the result so this is all about our login screen header now after this uh, we will implement the login form below here that is which will contain basically the uh, email text field and the password text field and also we will have a button like don't have an account login here uh, sign up here you have already seen the complete app overview in the intro video of this course okay so we will exactly develop the same UI just like you guys see in the intro video of this course and also uh, change this container to size box okay and this is our login screen sign in form which we will develop 